Welcome to This is Getting Old, Moving Towards an Age-Friendly World. I'm your host, Melissa Batchelor, and on today's episode, we'll be talking about five symptoms of Alzheimer's disease. So Alzheimer's disease is a syndrome, and it's the most common type of dementia. And it's a syndrome that's actually associated with many different diseases. Dementia is just an umbrella term for all the different types of dementias that impact a person's ability to think, solve problems, and function every day. Dementia can impact a person's memory, language ability, their behavior, their decision-making, and visual or spatial skills, and or their ability to pay attention. This usually happens very slowly over time. So if you were fine yesterday and you're not fine today, that is not dementia or Alzheimer's disease. That would be called delirium. So a lot of times it takes time for family and friends, and even the person who's experiencing changes with their memory, years to recognize these problems. In fact, dementia is usually isn't even diagnosed until the problems are to the point that they're interfering with that person's ability to work, to take care of their affairs and manage their household. So let's go through these five main symptoms of the disease. Number one, difficulty understanding spatial relationships. So what this means is people get lost. Um, They may have difficulty understanding how things fit together or understanding maps. You may tell them to go get something in a different room and tell them where it's at and they have trouble kind of navigating that even in their a place that they're familiar with. They may wander or get lost. So this might happen if you come out of a mall or a store and can't remember where you parked your car. Um, although that can also happen if you're not paying attention, which is could be ADD, ADHD. Um, but also changes in depth perception. So this may happen, this may become apparent if the person you know begins to trip or slip, um, if they fall or if they have a car accident. Um, so those are signs of difficulty with depth perception. Number two, difficulties with language use. So one of the things with Alzheimer's disease are the four A's. This is one of them, it's called aphasia. Um, And this is the inability to use and understand language. So aphasia is different than dysphagia. I actually got asked this question this week. Dysphagia is difficulty and trouble swallowing. So what we're talking about is aphasia, which um, you may have heard in the news recently that this is one of the things that Bruce Willis um, is dealing with right now. But it's basically difficulty finding words if it's expressive aphasia, um, and it's difficulty understanding words if it's receptive aphasia. Number three, trouble paying attention, another A. Um, So staying focused becomes a lot more difficult. So this may be when the person begins to repeat, repeat questions or they start losing or misplacing things, or you may um, notice errors in their ability to manage their finances. So basically it's just a shortened attention span, or they may lose train, may lose their train of thought when they're talking, or they may have trouble following the conversation. Number four, difficulty managing time and effort. So in this, it takes people longer to complete normal daily tasks. Um, they may have trouble organizing themselves to get out of the house. I actually dated a guy one time and his sister had been diagnosed with executive dysfunction. And he was always frustrated that it took her like an hour to get out of the house and had to explain to him that executive functioning is the ability to plan and execute an activity. So it made total sense to me that it took her an hour. And again, this is one of those things where the people with the big brains need to adjust to what that person is doing because people with a cognitive problem are doing the very best that they can. And it also can decrease our own frustration. And then number five, trouble recognizing um, familiar objects and memory loss. These are the last two A's. So this is amnesia and agnosia. Amnesia is memory loss. Agnosia is when you pick up an object and you're not sure what it's for anymore. Um, So this would be in my business of helping people to eat, they pick up the fork or the spoon and they're not sure what to do with it. Or the person picks up a pen and they're not sure what to do with it. Um, That is what it means to have, that you're having trouble recognizing familiar objects and what to do with them. Another A in Alzheimer's disease is apraxia. And that's when they pick up the fork or the spoon, but they aren't, they, they have the ability, the actual physical ability to feed themselves but they just can't perform um, that function. If you want to learn more about how to manage um, any of these with uh, meal times, you can check out uh, the video I have on my website, melissabphd.com backslash NOSH, N-O-S-H. And there's a 10 minute podcast there about 
sensory changes that happen and three different hand feeding techniques to help with that. The hand feeding techniques can also be used to help with other activities of daily living. So bottom line though, is that Alzheimer's disease is not a normal part of aging. So you should know that as a young person, because what you think about aging impacts how well you're going to age and how long you're going to live. So you need to learn all that you can about what is normal with aging and not believe things that you think may be common or believe negative stereotypes that go along with aging, particularly in American culture. So negative stereotypes of aging is called ageism, and it can actually decrease your life expectancy by almost eight years. So stop with the stinking thinking. Aging doesn't have to equate decay and decline. In fact, most older adults in the United States are vibrant and engaged in life. So strive to be that type of older adult if you're lucky enough to age enough to be one. I know that I am. Thank you for tuning in today. Thank you for tuning in to This Is Getting Old, Moving Towards an Age-Friendly World. I'm your host, Melissa Batchelor. And if you'd like to learn more, you can check out my other episodes on my YouTube channel by either by subscribing and ringing the bell to get immediate notifications when new content comes out. In addition, you can also find the audio version of the podcast on Amazon Music, Spotify, iTunes, and Stitcher. Please feel free to leave an honest review because more reviews mean more awareness of the podcast and helps us move towards an age-friendly world. If you have a comment or a question, you can visit my website, melissabphd.com. Go to the Contact Melissa tab, and you can leave me a voice message. You never know. It might just include your question or your comment in an upcoming episode.